Graduation season is in full swing. That means an abundance of advice for students. High school teacher David McCullough Jr. made a big splash in 2012. He used his commencement speech to tell graduates, you are not special. He's expanding on that advice in a new book, and it's called You Are Not Special and Other Encouragements. Lee Woodruff sat down with the teacher to learn the meaning of this message. Lee, good morning. Good morning, Nora. You're not special sounds more like an insult than words of encouragement, but McCullough was using his speech as just another opportunity to inspire his students to look beyond their selfies in order to achieve a truly special life. You've been pampered, cosseted, doted upon, helmeted, bubble wrapped. You've been nudged, cajoled, wheedled, and implored. You've been feted and fawned over and called sweetie pie. <laughs> yes, you have. It's the 2012 high school commencement speech that became a humbling YouTube hit. But do not get the idea you're anything special because you're not. And put the candid high school English teacher David McCullough Jr. in the internet spotlight. Where did the genesis of You Are Not Special come from? I pictured the people to whom I would be speaking and uh, I envisioned them in the cap and gown which said to me this ceremonial costume eliminates any individuality. They were on a literal level playing field. Uh, they would cross the stage alphabetically, not in order of class rank or some other distinction. All of which said to me, anything you might have achieved in the building no longer matters. The ceremony, after all, is commencement. It's a beginning. They were starting afresh. What do you think it was that made that speech go viral? Other than my smoldering good looks? His dry sense of humor is part of what makes Mr. McCullough one of the favorite teachers at Wellesley High School in Massachusetts. Here he's saying, I'm an exhibitionist. What does all that add up to? And his cyber celebrity about? status oh, doesn't hurt either. What did you think of his graduation speech? All I can hear is, this, you're not special, you're not special. And at first I was like, oh, jeesh, Mr. McCullough, that's harsh. But then I kind of got the message at the end. When your graduation speech originally went viral, many people missed the intent of it. How did that feel when you realized people were critical of what you were saying? It, not good. <laughs> It was intended to be sort of warm-hearted teasing a bit with, like some teasing so often does, with, you know, big elements of truth. You see, if everyone is special, then no one is. If everyone gets a trophy, trophies become meaningless. Mr. McCullough's speech may have been to the graduating class, but he intended the parents to be his other target audience. It's a statistical fact, a statistical inevitability, that most of us are average. The problem is parents have a very difficult time accepting that. My kid is, of course, above average. Well, maybe not. What are we parents doing wrong? I, I think we're intruding on what should be their responsibilities. We're denying them self-determination. We're concerned that any wobble or stumble might preclude some later opportunity. Kids need freedom. They need to explore on their own. They need to accept the possibility that failure can be real and that you have to figure out a way to deal with it. Our Holden and Ackley friends... McCullough has been teaching students life lessons through his love of literature for 26 years. He really loves teaching and I think that's obvious but it's the way he does it and he definitely wants me to learn something. He's not teaching me so I can get the grade or he's teaching for the money. He like has a goal for me and all the other students in the class to come away with something in this class. What did you come away with? To, you know, seize the day. It's what he says at the end of every class, carpe the heck out of the DM. Mm -hmm. Do what you love because you love it. For the great and curious truth of the human experience is that selflessness is the best thing you can do for yourself. The sweetest joys of life then, then come only with the recognition that you're not special. Because everyone is. Is Mr. McCullough one of those teachers that just shapes kids' lives? Yeah, absolutely. Some of the most successful people in life point to a teacher that really changed the course of where they were headed. And it seems that you are that teacher for many of your students. How does that feel? Great. It feels great. It's the best job in the world. I can't think of anything more gratifying or fun. I, I get up every morning. I can't wait to get here. The essence of the book is an enlargement of Enlargement of the speech. I, in fact, I have it right here. <laughs> and a lot of wisdom. So he really expanded. That speech made such a giant ripple for everyone. I remember someone sending it to me. And he's that guy. He's really that great. Mm -hmm. He loves those kids. 
He wants this all to go right for them. But now I think people really get the message of what he was saying, though. Those yes. who missed it the first time now clearly see what he was doing. But, Lee, you have kids. Can you imagine saying to your kids every day, you're not that special, you're ordinary, just like it? I say that to them every day, Nora. <laughs> Come on. Come on. It's a tough world out there, baby. Yeah. Buck up. But that's different than saying buck up. Yeah. You just but you if say you your really kids, you're not special. listen to the, you're not special until you do something and, and become selfless. Yeah. I yeah. love that message. Yeah, I, I do, too. Yeah. I get Go it. beyond I like yourself. Go David McCullough. Thank you, Lee. Yeah.